question, okay, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've always done little bits of this, but let me just try to put it all together. Uh, we are living in an era, uh, let me go back. <laughs> My undergraduate, you know, thing is in uh, communications. Um, and, uh, even though, um, and the, the, con the concentration of communications, well, everything, I did everything, f uh, 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 television production, of, of video, you know, the old time video with the, with the tapes and whatever, uh, a newspaper, uh, radio I didn't take classes for, but I had my own radio program, and I was poet in residence for, for um, Princeton, uh, PRB radio station at Princeton, uh, before I uh, finally went to the rest of my undergraduate school. Uh, so my background is totally in, in, in media and a bunch of, a lot of other things. I've done magazines, I've done a bunch of things. I had weekly columns when I was in Delray Beach, Florida, a bunch of stuff. So media is sort of my, my thing, my lane. I remember way, way back in undergraduate school, I was like, you know, in the future, uh, the way things are going, this is before the internet was hit, before anybody knew, before any internet. I said, it's going to be a couple of time in the future where there's going to be so much stuff. It's like, uh, when I was really, uh, my brain is like, uh, well, I'm, I'm informed by the Black Arts Movement, but more specifically by the, the, the Black Power Movement of the 60s. And I knew back then that we would look, there was a lot of publications there. You know, we'd read everything from Ramparts to, you know, New Republic, whatever, a bunch, bunch, bunch of stuff. Um, so, but there was, there was that, there was a bunch of stuff. But now I was thinking back then, back, back in the 70s, I was saying the future is going to be, what they're going to do, they're going to give you so much stuff, they're going to snow you with so much stuff that you've got to f go through the stuff to find out your little nugget uh, that would support your lane, support your thesis, if you will. You know? but, there, but there's going to be so much garbage out there that you're going to be, I didn't say distracted, but you're going to be overwhelmed. So you really have to have a discerning eye how to, how to do stuff, you know? And there's this model, and I've, I've spoken about this before, there's this model, it's called the, uh, um, I don't know what it's called, actually, it's, I call it the fork, the fork model, that tuning fork, the fork model, like this is a five prong or four prong fork, and this is the thing like that. And with, with the fork, what it is, is basically, you have uh, one person in the community that knows these kind of things. And when they say something, these five people will listen to that person because they trust that source and they know that that person knows what he's talking about, say about engines. They know they know about combustible engines. They know about that. So anything that person knows about combustible engines, you can take word for it. So so the the, the the way we do things these days, if you find an internet on the internet something that you that you resonate with, then you're supposed to sort of stay with that. And don't be distracted about these other things. So for instance, I have a wide variety of, of things I listen to. Two of the most important people that I listen to is uh, Yvette Cornell from the Boyce Watson channel, but she does a Bringing Brown, whatever happens to you. And, and her thing is also goes into uh, Antonio Moore and, and, um, and, and Boyce Watkins and, and, and uh, Jerima, the Jerima guy, you know, but, 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 but they're all in Boyce Watkins thing, he, so he's like the thing and then like that and then, but out of that thing I really listen to Yvette Moore and, uh, and Irony and that, that whole thing. But there's, there's other people I listen like Jimmy Dore, I, I really like him. He does, I don't have to say, I, don't, I shouldn't even do these kind of things because Jimmy Dore says everything I need. He's got the graphics and all this stuff. I don't do graphics and nothing, nothing like that. Just my voice. But one, one of the other people I do, there's this guy um, that is expatriate from, from, from Canada, but he lives in Japan. His name is uh, Corbett, it's called the Corbett Report. Um, C O R B E T T, I think. Anyway, uh, and, and he's really very, what I like about him is that he has his, his uh, sources listed in his, you know, like you list the source in, 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 in your description like that. And I've always been interested in sources because one of the, the uh, publications, I mean aside from I Have Stone Weekly, which I used to get in, in, in the late 60s, uh, early 70s, I Have Stone Weekly would always have sources and he would never interview these, these uh, people, and, uh, these spokespeople, you know, like, like these news readers that come in, what they do is they, they go to, they go to where the, the, there's a press conference, they write that one and they come back and they put a little spin on it, you know, of whatever the, the, the major player wants, whatever, the, 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 the spaghetti name, whatever it wants, and then they give it to the people that, that trust, you know, the CBS's or the Fox's or the NBC's or whatever, whatever is out there, CBZ's, the, you know, <laughs> Only the Canadians have or the, you know, what is it, BBCs and whatever, the SABC for, this, for, for South Africa. But, uh, 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 but, the, the, but I like about what, uh, one of the publications I really, really like was um, a Covert Action Information Bulletin. 
and they really had sources. So I like places that have sources uh, uh, it, because then you can you can check the sources and then you can you know know know, know what you know rather than this everything else. If you don't have a source you know that that's, that that you can examine, then it just becomes what's what's the difference between somebody saying, "Hey, I heard," and a reliable source told me, and 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 the truth. There is you know there's. No, it's wrong. You got to have the source. You got to say this is where it came from. This is the person I trust. Though this and that, and that person got it from these people like 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 that. You know. Anyway, so the corporate report is one of those people that, that does that. So I, I support uh, people like that. Um, I support. I haven't given any money money to them. I should I should that or whatever. But I don't have any money right now. Don't worry. In a couple of months, we'll see what happens. Um, but I want to say this. The problem with the media and why you really should just pay attention to you know people that you trust and notice in your lane that you should really research the people that you're, you're looking at see what else they put on their channels whatever have you and of course podcasts are all the rage right now you can consider this a podcast you can you have to turn you don't have to look at me you know we just just turn the blank and it's a podcast right um, but what what's interesting is that most of the um, uh, I'm sorry, but I, 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 everybody has their little thing. I know I'm skipping around what I used to do. But everybody has their little thing. And Sarah Palin, when she said the lame street media, hey, accurate. She may say a lot of whacked out things, but the lame street media, that's, that's perfect. Whatever she said about the lame media. Because they are, forget Ben Bay being, being stenographers, it's worse than that. You know, you have... Uh, what, what I like, one of the things that's interesting about South Africa, they had, they, they, and I guess you do it in Britain too, because it's a British thing, I guess, um, is that they have, they don't have uh, 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 correspondents, whatever have you, they, they have presenters. Well, they do have correspondents, but the people that's taken to you, they're, they're called presenters. So you're presenting. And the presenter is one step away from being an actor, and perhaps if you do it long enough, then you are an actor. So basically, you're getting your news and your information from presenters, and who's backing up those presenters? Look, let's look and see who's talking to that person's, you know, earbud, whatever have you. Who's editing that 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 publications? Those are the people that this should be could be concerned with. One of the things I used to uh, subscribe to was Mother Jones. And 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 uh, in the in the seventies, early eighties, early eighties subscriber Mother Jones, it was an early subscriber actually. But one time they published a picture of their staff, and I had a subscription to Mother Jones, and they they they, they, uh, um, they published a picture of their staff, and there was one black person in the staff, and it was the secretary, the receptionist, and I don't know, it freaked me out, and I immediately stopped my position, my my you know, subscription to Mother Jones. You know, it was a visual, emotional reaction because they did have good stuff. But I just stopped my subscription. I would read it every once in a while. And I haven't read. I don't really deal with Mother Jones these days. You know, I, mean, I guess they have good stuff. You know, same thing with the Nation. All those kind of liberal kind of things. I really don't. I mean, you know, unless you're covert African information bulletin, or unless you're in the in the in the in the lane of IF Stone, I'm not really interested in what you're in what you're doing as far as the lane or the mainstream uh, media. Is, is concerned mainly because they are acting, they are hanging out with the celebrities, they are being celebrity. They, are being, they have something to protect. They have an image, image to protect. They have. They, they can't be wrong. If if they are wrong, they can't apologize in a way that would that, that would undo their wrong. You see that? That's you know what I'm saying. So my advice, especially in this age of uh, what the Trump people call it fake news or act or not quite the news, whatever they're calling it these days. I don't know. I, I, Alts, news, facts, whatever it is, it's the same old thing. There's so much snow, there's so much, you know, so much storm that you got to pick your drops. That's that you're gonna that's gonna nourish you. That's gonna give you substance. It's gonna it's gonna you know get get, get you going. So that's that's my advice. Uh, really make sure you look at your sources. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Look behind the sources. I mean, one of the things that Boyce Watkins says that he stopped listening, he stopped uh, uh, paying attention to uh, uh, Huffington Post. And uh, I, I really, I, I was paying attention until they were taken over by uh, Time Warner. Then I, that, they were so I think it was Time Warner. Whoever took them over, then it was over, over for me, you know. Um, uh, and and it's, there's a bunch of things like, like, like the root. I, I, every once in a while, I try to look at the root, but I'm going like, oh, this is, this is nothing here, you know. So, so don't waste your time. It's your economy. This, this is your own economy. Don't waste your time with stuff that's just going to fill your head with nothingness. 
read the book, do, do I, I say podcast, do the podcast if you find something you there that you like. And also, if you go on YouTube, you know, treat it like a podcast. You know, oh, okay, you have to look, you know, don't let an engagement rest you, rest you like I'm trying to do right now. That's, uh, that's my little media advice, doing my response, my, my responsibility, my, my, my responsibility as a, uh, uh, a, a student of the media for low these many years. Uh, that made me understood me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.